One of the most common questions I get is, what is inter-rater reliability or inter-coder reliability? I see it called as well. Um, should I be doing it? And if so, what number should I achieve? And so um, it's become increasingly common, especially as um, you know, more mixed methods research is being done for teams to go through an inter-rater reliability process. But it's not required. You don't have to do it. But it is important for you to go through a process so that you as a team understand what you're coding for and you're sort of aiming at the same target. So in terms of achieving reliability, so um, in terms of how do I know, you can use the, the numbers. We'll come back to the numbers. Um, to figure out if you're in the neighborhood, right, of being reliable. But it's most important for you to talk to your teammates. So what you would do is you might have a single interview and you have a total of three team members and all three of you code the same interview with the same codes and you come back together and you can use a software package. So for instance, in Invivo, there's a coding comparison query that will generate both percent agreement for all of your codes, um, as well as a kappa coefficient. And so you can use that to get a sense of uh, where trouble might be happening, so where there might be differences. But at a minimum, um, it's really important for you to talk to each other about the process, capture your questions. Where, where were you not sure about coding for something in particular? Um, and look at where you have good alignment and, and understand why that might be. And as a part of this process, you might change um, your, your code book, right? So you might update the definitions of particular codes so that you more fully understand them as a team and can more reliably and in a valid way code for those concepts. So another question is, you know, does more than one person have to code everything? And the answer is no. And another question is, how often do I have to do inner rate reliability? And the answer is, it depends. Uh, you should at least go through the process at the beginning um, so that you can achieve some sort of agreement towards the beginning on how you're coding. You can punctuate it throughout your project. You can then, or, or not, you could just you know, start, do your inner rate reliability, and split everything else up from there. But you should keep in mind that people are people and, and how they're coding might sort of wander. Um, and so you might end up doing a cleaning process later on, sort of reading through your coding and making sure that it lines up with your code book and how you have things defined. So it's, it's always a process, uh, no matter whether you're aiming for something more along the lines of statistical agreement or you're going the consensus coding route.